Hi, and welcome to Supply Chain Secrets. The topic this week is KPIs, and specifically customer service measures, because so many people get baffled with KPIs, and particularly around customer service. I'm gonna show you this week what I reckon is one of the best KPIs you could possibly have for supply chain and logistics. Coming right up. Okay, so a lot of people get really tied up in knots when it comes to KPIs, key performance indicators in supply chain and logistics operations. And they either measure the wrong things or they measure too many. Uh, in fact, I think following this video, I'll, I'll do another one on KPIs, but this week I wanna talk about what I think is one of the best KPIs ever. And it's called the probability of a perfect order. And you'll see as I unfold this, why it's such a good KPI. So if I said to you, what key performance indicators do you use in supply chain logistics? And I ask people this at every single event that I talk at, they all come up, or 90% of them come up with one particular KPI, and that is DIFOT, delivered in full on time. And that's really a, a very important KPI, but most people measure it the wrong way. And that's why I'm going to show you today the ultimate measure. Now, I'm going to click forward uh, on a slide here. So excuse me, but this sort of goes in a, a little bit of a sequence and we'll run that sequence um, behind me as well. So we call this the probability of a perfect order. And you'll see why in a second. And this is uh, some numbers actually from a, a live case study a little while back. So one of the first things that I think you should be measuring is actually your order entry accuracy. So think about this for a moment. Are you taking phone orders? Are you taking you know, EDI orders, automatic you know, web orders? Um, some people still take phone orders. I've met some businesses who still take fax orders. But however those orders are coming in, are they being entered into your systems accurately? So in this organization, they were getting that 90%, 98% accurate. So think about that just for a moment, because what that actually means is they were getting 2% errors right up front. So they were getting keying errors or you know, translation errors or whatever. They were getting 2% of the orders wrong up front and that's not uncommon. Obviously these days with you know, online systems and so on, we can reduce that error a lot. So that's the first thing to measure. And the next one we've got is inventory availability. And this one doesn't get measured enough, to be honest. So what do I mean by this? Okay, so we've got the customer's order into the system, but do we actually have the stock to fulfill that order? And in this case, 20% of the time, they didn't. So you can see we're already behind the eight ball trying to look after our customers because 20% of the time, we didn't even have the stock available. So that's an absolutely crucial component to measure. Then we come to the warehouse DIFOT service level. So this is the ability of the warehouse to actually have the product picked, packed, ready for dispatch, all accurate, ready for uh, sending out to the customer. And in this case, they were getting 90% okay. So here we've got you know 10% errors still creeping in. So maybe you can start to think of some of the things that you would do to correct this. Then we have the one that everybody seems to measure, which is the carrier, the transport company's delivery in full on time. And this is 98% in this example. And look, that sounds pretty good. And most people would quote numbers like that. But look at some of the earlier numbers, and I'll show you the consequences of this in a moment. Then we have the customer accepting the order. So the product wasn't damaged, it was what they ordered, uh, the paperwork is right, and so on. So in 95% of the cases here, the customer was accepting that. And then to close the loop, it's really nice to measure the payment, so the accurate invoice was paid on time, and here that was in 98% of cases. So, having said that the most common KPI is DIFOT, which in this case, this is the carrier's delivery in full on time, this one's 98%, that's the thing that most people measure, but you've got to measure the other stuff. And not only have you got to measure the other stuff, but to get an accurate reflection of your performance, you actually have to multiply them all out. And let's have a look at what that means. 
So we're taking the 98% times 8 times 80% times 90% times 98% and so on. So if we multiply them all out, because they all impact each other, we can see the probability of getting that order perfect is only 64%. So if you have numbers like this in your business, and you might be looking at DIFOT and it's 98%, you think, hey, we're, we're doing pretty well. You're not, because if you, you know, the, the probability of you getting a perfect order is not 98%. That was 98% of the stuff that was keyed in correctly, that was available, that was packed correctly. So it's only a small piece of the puzzle. So in this case, 64% uh, was the probability of a perfect order. So you can imagine what the CEO said in this example. What do you think? What should it be? What's the average in our industry? Very good question. Uh, and in this case, parity or average was 68%. That's still not that great. So if you've done a lot of work with senior executives and CEOs, what do you think would be the next question the CEO would be asking the supply chain manager? All right, if that's the average, what's best in class? And in this case, in this industry, it was 93%, a lot better. So have a think about that for a moment. Now, what would you tackle? If, if these were your numbers, what would you look at first to try and lift that 64% closer towards 93%? I mean, there's one that just stands right out, isn't it? It's the inventory availability. And that's exactly what this company did. They focused on improving the inventory as long as, uh, along with all the other things, because they, they focused on that one because that's gonna have the biggest impact in lifting the overall measure. So you can see the beauty of a measure like this. There's a number of things. We're looking at all the key functions that actually lead to servicing our customer, which is really important, not just DIFOT. It's also cross-functional, which is great. So we've got customer service, we've got supply chain, we've got the warehousing, we've got the inventory people, we've even got finance who are processing invoices, and what you get is collaboration across the different functions, all working together to try and improve on this number, which is awesome. Now, just to tell you uh, what actually happened with this company, so they started off with 64% probability of a perfect order. Um, I think they got to 68% in about nine months, and it was a two-year program for them, but they then got to this advantage or best-in-class number, 93% within two years. And this KPI was the thing that gave them the focus, it gave them that that uh, cooperation and collaboration across functions to try and improve the number. So that's why I absolutely love this KPI. Okay, so uh, I'll add a link below because I think I've got some explanations to this as well on our blog. Um, but if you've got any questions on this KPI or other KPIs, do comment below. I'd love to hear your questions and certainly I'll get around to answering those. And I'll do another KPI video coming up as well because a lot of people get confused about how many KPIs to have and, and what type of KPIs to have for different levels of the organization. So there we go, the probability of the perfect order, probably one of the best KPIs going in supply chain. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you know how it works. Uh, do like, do comment, do share. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe uh, because we have new videos coming out every week, generally on a Wednesday. And I think there's a bell button just next to the subscribe. If you hit that, you'll be notified as soon as we publish a new video. So there we go, KPIs demystified and a great KPI for you to use in your own business. See you next week.